Medical Diagnosis, Wikipedia Article Audio Medical diagnosis or DS is the process of determining which disease or condition explains a person's symptoms and signs. It is most often referred to as diagnosis with the medical context being implicit. The information required for diagnosis is typically collected from a history and physical examination of the person seeking medical care. Often, one or more diagnostic procedures, such as diagnostic tests, are also done during the process. Sometimes posthumous diagnosis is considered a kind of medical diagnosis. History Medical Uses Procedure Differential Diagnosis Pattern Recognition Diagnostic Criteria Clinical Decision Support System Other Diagnostic Procedure Methods Adverse Effects Overdiagnosis Errors Lag Time Society and Culture Etymology Social Context Concepts Related to Diagnosis Lists Diagnosis is often challenging, because many signs and symptoms are nonspecific. For example, redness of the skin, by itself, is a sign of many disorders and thus does not tell the healthcare professional what is wrong. Thus differential diagnosis, in which several possible explanations are compared and contrasted, must be performed. This involves the correlation of various pieces of information followed by the recognition and differentiation of patterns. Occasionally the process is made easy by a sign or symptom that is pathognomonic. Diagnosis is a major component of the procedure of a doctor's visit. From the point of view of statistics, the diagnostic procedure involves classification tests. The first recorded examples of medical diagnosis are found in the writings of Imhotep in ancient Egypt. A Babylonian medical textbook, the Diagnostic Handbook written by E. Sajil Kinapli, introduced the use of empiricism, logic and rationality in the diagnosis of an illness or disease. Traditional Chinese medicine, as described in the Yellow Emperor's Inner Canon or Huangdi Niajing, specified four diagnostic methods, inspection, auscultation olfaction, interrogation, and palpation. Hippocrates was known to make diagnoses by tasting his patients' urine and smelling their sweat. A diagnosis, in the sense of diagnostic procedure, can be regarded as an attempt at classification of an individual's condition into separate and distinct categories that allow medical decisions about treatment and prognosis to be made. Subsequently, a diagnostic opinion is often described in terms of a disease or other condition, but in the case of a wrong diagnosis, the individual's actual disease or condition is not the same as the individual's diagnosis. A diagnostic procedure may be performed by various healthcare professionals such as a physician, physical therapist, optometrist, healthcare scientist, chiropractor, dentist, podiatrist, nurse practitioner, or physician assistant. This article uses diagnostician as any of these person categories. A diagnostic procedure does not necessarily involve elucidation of the etiology of the diseases or conditions of interest, that is, what caused the disease or condition. Such elucidation can be useful to optimize treatment, further specify the prognosis or prevent recurrence of the disease or condition in the future. The initial task is to detect a medical indication to perform a diagnostic procedure. Indications include Even during an already ongoing diagnostic procedure, 
there can be an indication to perform another, separate, diagnostic procedure for another, potentially concomitant, disease or condition. This may occur as a result of an incidental finding of a sign unrelated to the parameter of interest, such as can occur in comprehensive tests such as radiological studies like magnetic resonance imaging or blood test panels that also include blood tests that are not relevant for the ongoing diagnosis. General components which are present in a diagnostic procedure in most of the various available methods include there are a number of methods or techniques that can be used in a diagnostic procedure, including performing a differential diagnosis or following medical algorithms. In reality, a diagnostic procedure may involve components of multiple methods. The method of differential diagnosis is based on finding as many candidate diseases or conditions as possible that can possibly cause the signs or symptoms followed by a process of elimination or at least of rendering the entries more or less probable by further medical tests and other processing until, aiming to reach the point where only one candidate disease or condition remains as probable. The final result may also remain a list of possible conditions, ranked in order of probability or severity. The resultant diagnostic opinion by this method can be regarded more or less as a diagnosis of exclusion. Even if it does not result in a single probable disease or condition, it can at least rule out any imminently life-threatening conditions. Unless the provider is certain of the condition present, further medical tests, such as medical imaging, are performed or scheduled in part to confirm or disprove the diagnosis but also to document the patient's status and keep the patient's medical history up to date. If unexpected findings are made during this process, the initial hypothesis may be ruled out and the provider must then consider other hypotheses. In a pattern recognition method the provider uses experience to recognize a pattern of clinical characteristics. It is mainly based on certain symptoms or signs being associated with certain diseases or conditions, not necessarily involving the more cognitive processing involved in a differential diagnosis. This may be the primary method used in cases where diseases are obvious or the provider's experience may enable him or her to recognize the condition quickly. Theoretically, a certain pattern of signs or symptoms can be directly associated with a certain therapy, even without a definite decision regarding what is the actual disease, but such a compromise carries a substantial risk of missing a diagnosis which actually has a different therapy so it may be limited to cases where no diagnosis can be made. The term diagnostic criteria designates the specific combination of signs, symptoms, and test results that the clinician uses to attempt to determine the correct diagnosis. Some examples of diagnostic criteria, also known as clinical case definitions, are Clinical decision support systems are interactive computer programs designed to assist health professionals with decision-making tasks. The clinician interacts with the software utilizing both the clinician's knowledge and the software to make a better analysis of the patient's data than either human or software could make on their own. Typically the system makes suggestions for the clinician to look through and the clinician picks useful information and removes erroneous suggestions. Other methods that can be used in performing a diagnostic procedure include Diagnosis problems are the dominant cause of medical malpractice payments, accounting for 35% of total payments in a study of 25 years of data and 350,000 claims. Overdiagnosis is the diagnosis of disease that will never cause symptoms or death during a patient's lifetime. It is a problem because it turns people into patients unnecessarily and because it can lead to economic waste and treatments that may cause harm. 
Overdiagnosis occurs when a disease is diagnosed correctly, but the diagnosis is irrelevant. A correct diagnosis may be irrelevant because treatment for the disease is not available, not needed, or not wanted. Most people will experience at least one diagnostic error in their lifetime, according to a 2015 report by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. Causes and factors of error in diagnosis are When making a medical diagnosis, a lag time is a delay in time until a step towards diagnosis of a disease or condition is made. Types of lag times are mainly The plural of diagnosis is diagnoses. The verb is to diagnose, and a person who diagnoses is called a diagnostician. The word diagnosis slash da nos slash is derived through Latin from the Greek word delta iota gamma nu omega sigma iota from delta iota alpha gamma iota gamma nu sigma kappa epsilon iota nu meaning to discern, distinguish. Medical diagnosis or the actual process of making a diagnosis is a cognitive process. A clinician uses several sources of data and puts the pieces of the puzzle together to make a diagnostic impression. The initial diagnostic impression can be a broad term describing a category of diseases instead of a specific disease or condition. After the initial diagnostic impression, the clinician obtains follow-up tests and procedures to get more data to support or reject the original diagnosis and will attempt to narrow it down to a more specific level. Diagnostic procedures are the specific tools that the clinicians use to narrow the diagnostic possibilities. Diagnosis can take many forms. It might be a matter of naming the disease, lesion, dysfunction, or disability. It might be a management naming or prognosis naming exercise. It may indicate either degree of abnormality on a continuum or kind of abnormality in a classification. It's influenced by non-medical factors such as power, ethics, and financial incentives for patient or doctor. It can be a brief summation or an extensive formulation, even taking the form of a story or metaphor. It might be a means of communication such as a computer code through which it triggers payment, prescription, notification, information, or advice. It might be pathogenic or salutogenic. It's generally uncertain and provisional. Once a diagnostic opinion has been reached, the provider is able to propose a management plan, which will include treatment as well as plans for follow-up. From this point on, in addition to treating the patient's condition, the provider can educate the patient about the etiology, progression, prognosis, other outcomes, and possible treatments of her or his ailments, as well as providing advice for maintaining health. Detection of any deviation from what is known to be normal, such as can be described in terms of, for example, anatomy, physiology, pathology, psychology and human homeostasis. Knowledge of what is normal and measuring of the patient's current condition against those norms can assist in determining the patient's particular departure from homeostasis and the degree of departure which in turn can assist in quantifying the indication for further diagnostic processing, a complaint expressed by a patient, the fact that a patient has sought a diagnostician can itself be an indication to perform a diagnostic procedure. For example, in a doctor's visit, the physician may already start performing a diagnostic procedure by watching the gait of the patient from the waiting room to the doctor's office even before she or he has started to present any complaints. Complementing the already given information with further data gathering, which may include questions of the medical history, physical examination, and various diagnostic tests, 
A diagnostic test is any kind of medical test performed to aid in the diagnosis or detection of disease. Diagnostic tests can also be used to provide prognostic information on people with established disease, processing of the answers, findings, or other results. Consultations with other providers and specialists in the field may be sought. Amsterdam Criteria for Hereditary Non-Polyposis Colorectal Cancer, McDonald Criteria for Multiple Sclerosis, ACR Criteria for Systemic Lupus Erythematosus, Centaur Criteria for Strep Throat. The manifestation of disease are not sufficiently noticeable, a disease is omitted from consideration, too much significance is given to some aspect of the diagnosis. The condition is a rare disease with symptoms suggestive of many other conditions, the condition has a rare presentation. Onset to medical encounter lag time, the time from onset of symptoms until visiting a healthcare provider, encounter to diagnosis lag time, the time from first medical encounter to diagnosis. A treatment plan is proposed which may include therapy and follow-up consultations and tests to monitor the condition and the progress of the treatment, if needed, usually according to the medical guidelines provided by the medical field on the treatment of the particular illness. Relevant information should be added to the medical record of the patient. A failure to respond to treatments that would normally work may indicate a need for review of the diagnosis. Subtypes of diagnoses include Medical sign, symptom, syndrome Medical diagnosis, differential diagnosis, prognosis Acute, chronic, cure-slash-remission Disease Eponymous disease, acronym or abbreviation.